we're going to have a look at how to use Archicad and Photoshop in order to, cr to create a floor plan presentation or a, a two-dimensional presentation using the tools that we have in Archicad and putting them together in Photoshop to visualize it the way that we'd want to see it. So when we start with a traditional floor plan, Black and white is generally the way that we're going. Now, I've changed this in our settings, in the view settings, under a model view option to preliminary as opposed to something like construction. So for construction, we want to see our sectional profile or our complex profile of our walls showing all the correct s standard hatching. Uh, but for a presentation, we don't want to see that sort of information. Similarly, we also don't want to see all of the information that we might be having in our model. So we need to pick and choose with what sort of information we see in terms of, in this case, the layers. So again, under the view settings, we can change to use a layer combination that's appropriate for the type of drawing that we're trying to create. This is not a documentation drawing. A documentation drawing would have to include things like section elevation markers, dimensions and other annotations. Again, that's not what we want to do for this. So we're going to use a layer combination. So that's options, element attributes, layer settings. I'm just pressing command L or control L to get there a bit faster. And we're choosing a layer combination, obviously that's going to turn on and turn off layers accordingly in order to make our floor plan as clean as possible. Now I've exported this already just to save a bit of time and put this into Photoshop and so this is the result that we're getting. I trimmed all the rest of the page so I saved it as a save view. Let's go back to Archicad. Save it as a save view, put it on a layout published the layout as a PDF and then trimmed off all the other things like title blocks because again we don't want title blocks for a presentation drawing that's more for a documentation drawing. Right now so now we've got a, a base and when we import a PDF we'll see that it imports like this and so we get this black and white checker thing which just means that the background is transparent which is brilliant and importing as PDFs makes that very very useful and we'll see why that's so useful later on. Also, the other very intentional aspect of what, that I, of what I did is that there isn't any fills that aren't solid fills. So I've got a few different colors. I've got a, a light gray, which is my floor. I've got a dark gray, which is this uh, sandstone wall. I could have added more and I could have used colors just to help differentiate. I've also got all these gaps between the doors and you'll see the problem with that a bit later on. Uh, and I've got the outside which might be represented as the grass. Now when we do this in 3D, of course, we have more options because in 3D we can add in textures. Now we can do that in 2D as well, but let's just have a look at this at the moment. So in 3D, I've created a similar view. And I've created this by view, 3D view options. 3D projection settings using our top view and when we use the top view as opposed to a perspective or an isometric or axonometric view and move our camera to the bottom it represents as if this was a floor plan or a top view. Of course the problem is if I am to 